guys, Ethan Dainberg here at the Business Academy. Welcome to another episode of the Business Academy podcast, where our goal is to help you build freedom in practice through a staff-driven office that allows you to do what you want to do, when you want to do it, with who you want to do it with, truly creating a lifestyle practice for yourself and for your family. I'm joined today with Dr. Robin Owings. She's the founder and CEO of Pro Wellness Family Chiropractic and a 7th Division member with the Business Academy. Dr. Robin, thanks for taking some time to hang out with us today. Absolutely, thanks yeah. for inviting me. So um, we've known each other for a number of years now. Um, your story has always inspired me uh, with your your journey in practice and uh, not only as an associate chiropractor, but also how you've taken the current practice you've had and gone through the ups and downs, but created success for yourself. And honestly, kind of like the practice you've created, you have a unique situation where your office doesn't need to have you there, but you choose to do what you want to do in your practice because of the freedom you have with the team that you have, the uh, the, the tight ship that you run there, the, the processes and procedures and the training you have in place. So so with that being said, let's, let's kind of start from the beginning a bit. And uh, so where are you from? Where do you practice? What kind of office do you have? And uh, when did you uh, open up that, that office? So I opened Pro Wellness seven years ago. Um, I'm is in North Carolina, so right outside of Charlotte. Um, it is a mainly a um, pro adjuster or instrument adjusting office, but we have laser therapy, we have decompression therapy, ultrasound, e stem, weight loss. Um, we just started dry needling. I just got certified in dry needling. Uh, so we have a lot of different things that we get to offer in our office. That's great. And then um, give us an idea like uh, how many patients is your team? typically seen per week, per month, uh, volume? So right now we're averaging uh, you know, around that 300 mark. We teeter tot a little bit. Um, awesome. But, you know, before starting uh, with TBA, I was half that. So, um, I don't know. I started TBA, with, like I've owned it for seven years. And um, so it's, I've been with you guys for three years mm -hmm. now. And it's just it's just really amplified my business and my freedom. That's so cool. So some might be watching this and going, wow, you've, you've doubled your practice. That sounds like double the work, right? But you've actually decreased, as a practice owner, you've decreased your workload. Oh, my goodness. And so you've actually created more freedom. So tell us a little bit about uh, the process of, uh, well, actually, let's talk about it now. Like this year so far, you know, I know you really value uh, creating a lifestyle practice, right? So you can do what you want to do in the practice, but also you can do what you want to do outside of the practice and not be like chained to your office. So like how many, how much time just this year or seven months into 2022, uh, how much time have you been able to have away from your office so far this year? Well, we did two weeks in Costa Rica, um, you know, part 7D, part, part, you know, workcation. Yep. So I had a little vacation there. Um, and I'm able to come about every um, once a month or even every other month to different seminars like 7D, but also trainings that we're having this weekend. Next weekend, I'm going to Dr. Lisa Palmer's office for a few days to get some training there. That's awesome. Um, and I usually take a couple extra days, like I said, to make it a workcation. I mean, if you're going to be in Florida, why not have some fun? That's right. Exactly. So you're... you're um so you're not working 60 hours a week, chained to your office. Once you doubled your practice, you bought yourself time. You have an amazing team in place. That's something you've worked very hard to do. And I think most yes. practice owners would have given up on this when you were at various stages of the process. But um, you have an amazing associate doctor, an incredible case manager who closes your cases for you, an amazing CA team. Yeah. Um, overall, your practice is run very well based on the systems you put in place with working at the Business Academy. Uh, but also, you've, you've been able to do it with the right team. Can you talk about your team a bit and how important they are in allowing you to kind of build this kind of a practice? Well, my team actually, you know, are having that great team started with you guys. And it started with me coming and starting in November of, of 18 and having my first in-office delivery by March. Mm. And that was key. And I did. I jumped in two feet. And if I'm going to do it and you're going to spend the money on it, then do it. Do the work. And I just started getting the courses, taking the courses, implementing those courses, getting the SOPs written up, getting the hats written up so everybody knows their specific duty that they have, getting all the training materials ready. So I spent a lot of time doing that, and I put that time in at the beginning, and that's what's freed my time up so much now at this point. And it's only been, like, literally within a year we had that we had that done. So cool. Yes. And then, you're, you're, and then you've you worked hard to cultivate the right type of people in your office, right? So like like every practice, you've hired the right people, you've hired the wrong people, you've had people that are going to be lifers in your office that are just like amazing contributions, and you've had people try to sabotage your office before your team, right? It's And, and despite, it doesn't just happen overnight, right? It takes a lot of, I mean, 
getting to where you're at today has been a lot of uh, long nights. Mm -hmm. I'm probably screaming into a pillow, uh -huh. right? Uh, crying into the weekend. I mean, talk a bit about your journey and the the commitment it takes to find the right team, and then why it's so important for every chiropractor to 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 persist through that to find the right people to help create this kind of practice. Um, well, even just with you guys, um, learning like the tone scale and the levels of, of people, um, knowing how they're going to fit into the practice was was really important. And then going from um, training a person to be my office manager and then losing her, you know, right after she finishes her courses mm. to losing my associate doctor a couple months after that and the process of, of purchasing a commercial property, it was, it was a very high stress time in my life. But there was just, you know, I had my coaches, I had everybody to keep me motivated and keep me on track, um, uplift my spirits when I need to. So it's kind of like holding my hand when I needed it. Um, has helped me to see the who in my office was willing to stick by me and push forward and us persevere. And people, I guess, going back to the question, um, how to how to pick the right person that's going to be for that right hat in the office. Because we had a couple people that were placed here and here and then doing the courses of uh, the, the tone and um, and getting the organization up board and everything ready. It's like, hey, I'm gonna move people around. And now we've got most of the team all in the right spot. That's so cool. Yeah, and then I think of like, um, during, during that time, you've had to recognize and understand through hard knocks, but also through like, you invested days of training in our training center here in Clearwater to learn systematically, how do I learn what makes people tick? What makes human behavior act the way it is? How does this emotional tone scale work with team members in my office? And what does that then result in with the work that they do, the trouble they cause, or the success that they have? So it wasn't just learning it you know, in the office through experience, but it was also taking the time to learn it in the course we've done. Uh, two in-office deliveries with the Business Academy, yes. where we had uh, myself and one of our other amazing uh, coaches, Catherine. She's we love Catherine. She's awesome. She popped into your office as well. And uh, seven days that you've done numerous executive training courses. You've probably spent weeks or months total over the course of a number of years, like away from your office training here. Why is making that investment and not making excuses to focus on your training on, in, on site, in person, so important to your success in this short window of time, just a few years at the Business Academy? I, I don't even think they would be that success if I hadn't done that. Um, and again, it's, it's other people pushing me, right? Because I, you know, I, I push my staff and I motivate them. I don't need that same type of push. And I feel like that's what gives us as just humans who like the you know, like language of love. I like to, to be um, patted on the back. I like the good job, you know, that, that's what motivates me. And so I feel like that's what you guys do for me in that way. And I can go do that for my staff. That's so cool. So not only did you double your practice, you've taken more time away from your practice than you ever had before doing what you want to do. You treat your patients in your office alongside your associate, not because you have to, but because that's what you choose. You want to you want to do that, right? That's what you want to keep your keep your hands on patients, and uh, your business isn't forcing you to do that. But you, that's that's the choice you make to want to give back, which is so cool. And then you also bought your dream building, yes, as well. You bought a commercial property, which is incredible. Um, how important was that part of the that chapter in your life of of having the capability to take the risk to buy a piece of commercial property, own your building? And not only just to own your building, but to be able to move your practice from where it was into like your dream location. What did that What did that mean for you? It's not only the dream location; it's also the dream um, model of the practice that I wanted. Me and my associate doctor adjust alike by using the the instrument, but we do manual work as well. Um, but it's like we come in; patient the flow is just so much better. Patients get set up. Whoever's next or available, doctor goes to that next patient. Um, unless they request, hey, I want to see Dr. Robin today or I want to see Dr. Megan today, we do honor that. But it's just the flow of the office is so much better. Um, it's And again, it just creates just that nice smoothness of, of working people through the office, giving them the experience they deserve and giving them that Ritz-Carlton ex Carlton experience. Make, let them know that, hey, you're not going to be there for an hour. You're not going to wait an hour. You do a no wait mm -hmm. policy. So we just everything just smooth so and functions so smoothly now that we're in the new building, and that we, you know, we have things set up the way that that I always envisioned, and that was my dream. That's so cool. Now you have a second floor as well, where you guys can are able to build out dry needling protocols, other. Uh, all new service centers in your office that your old building would have never had any space to do that exactly. in. Exactly. So it's uh, it's pretty cool, but you know, it takes somebody willing to take educated and uh, risks, right? And you you jumped into that 
two feet forward. You didn't think about a new building for 10 years and woulda, coulda, shoulda. You said, all right, the opportunity is here. I built enough capital in my business to do so. I'm going to go ahead and, and make the make the jump. And, and with the right systems, the right people, and the right team, with obviously uh, the right help, you've been able to uh, move right into it seamlessly and uh, uh, move through the obstacles and barriers uh, of no problem. So let me ask a couple of questions I have then now as we wrap up this interview. What does the future look like for Pro Wellness, for Dr. Robin Owings? What is, I mean, I feel like we've done so much, but I'm sure we've just tipped the iceberg. Uh, I've seen the tip of the iceberg here. So um, the future, we're still growing and expanding and offering more services. And I'm little by little stepping out. I, I don't want to completely step away. When Dr. Megan took her vacation, I loved it. I didn't get to do any business work that week, but I was just cranking and, you know, adjusting 300 patients for that week. And, and it was so much fun. So I don't want to take that fun away from me because I do love uh, giving that patient service. Yeah. But I do love my vacations and my husband and I love to travel. And we just have that's just foresee so much of that in the future, um, possibly going to the Bahamas two weeks, going island hopping at the end of the year, beginning of the new year. Um, so, yeah, just just mainly having a lot more fun within my business and having fun outside of my business. And that's what life's all about. Life should be enjoyed, not struggled through. Right. Yeah. That's so mm -hmm. cool. Uh, last question I have is for the uh, practice owner, the struggling chiropractic practice owner or maybe even a, a phys med office doesn't matter what kind of practice owner that are struggling or maybe they're making good money but they're chained to their office or they're hand to mouth right now they're they're deep in debt trying to just navigate their practice they're stuck what would you tell a chiropractor or a practice owner who's just stuck in practice uh, lost their purpose um, and just the business is not providing for them they're just chained to the business what would you say to them what would be a piece of advice you want to give them today a piece of advice would definitely be to join TBA. Uh, it's changed my life. I've seen so many other doctors that's in here that we hear testimonies all the time on just the success that they have um, with their business, but also with their life, because these aren't only business courses, they're life courses. And I would say, do it. You need to do it. You can't afford not to do it because it will change your life like it changed mine. That's awesome. Well, Dr. Robin, I appreciate you taking time today. I, uh, I know this is just, again, still just the first two chapters of an amazing story that will continue to happen. I can't wait to see the impacts you're going to have on your community and the, uh, the fun you're going to be able to have with uh, you and Case and, and the rest of your right. team and family. So thanks for taking some time today. Right. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you.